great game for us, like especially on both ends. Um, came out, executed our game plan, which is the second night in a row. So that was big for us, especially going forward. Like we'll be know we're going into after the next game, but also the rest of the season. So to be able to execute the game plans that the coaches have for us is big time. There's been to uh, 2,000 <clears throat> points tonight. Uh, it's a big honor. A lot of games get to this point, but uh, you know, what does that mean to you and just your career and what you've done to this point? To be honest, like I've never looked at my career, honestly. The 2K points, like I think in the moment, is just for me, it's a lot of games played, a lot of great teammates along the way. You just kind of overview your entire career and how you've grown. Like you come in here 18, 19 years old, 23 now. So just kind of looking at like my growth on and off the court, not really so much of like the points, the games. Sure. Only four guys in Liberty history that ever done that. Larry Blair was the last. You have a chance to speak to Larry at all over the over the past few months or anything? Uh not so much over the past like a couple months, but over my career here, I bumped into Larry a ton of times. Always a thrill to be around, always sharing, like, game, whether that's, like, career-wise going forward after this or stuff on the court. Yeah, it was a pleasure to talk to. Like, it's always dope to meet our alums, but he's always one that's always around and always wants to kind of grab the young guys. And boom. The team had, a, uh, you know, a couple rough shooting nights in game here. Uh, didn't quite get over 40% shooting for, for the night. But tonight, you guys, for most of the game, were over 60%, shooting over 50% from three. Did it feel good just to get back home and get back into good offensive rhythm? Uh, For sure. Obviously, uh, like on road trips, you don't get unlimited gym access like you do when you're at home. You can come in and swipe in at any time. So guys put up a lot of shots yesterday. It was our first day back. So, And obviously, the quality of our looks was a lot better. Like I said, guys executed so. You put those two together, and we hope that the ball goes in. Zach Cleveland's a guy. He uh, didn't play coaches and sitting against Bradley, but then tonight came out and led the team assists uh, with seven. Uh, how much does it say to, to him, just as a true freshman, to be able to bounce back or maybe a tough performance in Cancun and have a good night tonight? Great. Zach's a great kid, and he has an unbelievable upside. For a freshman or 18 or 19 year old, Ted. Good at DNP, and then why he had like in the mix of that game was on the bench, like cheering and going crazy, and to still come in the very next game and have like impactful minutes is like it shows his maturity, and it also shows the caliber of person and player he's going to be. So, a uh, big shout out to him. Like I always have unbelievable confidence in Zach Cleveland. So, anyone virtually? <clears throat> yeah, there is speaking of freshmen making an impact. Colin Porter, have you seen him get more comfortable in his role and therefore you're often settling with him piloting things? What was the end of the question? Have you seen the offense become more comfortable with Colin Porter piloting things? Oh, for sure. We've been blown away and confident in Colin since his very first day on campus. So going into every game, it looks funny because we probably have the smallest starting backcourt in the country, but I feel like we have the most dynamic backcourt in the country just because of how talented he is and how diverse he is as a player. So, like, the, the more the season goes on, I think the more confident he's going to be and the more he'll showcase, like, everything he brings to the table, even though he already brings a grand amount to the table. Uh, from a schematics standpoint, we haven't really changed anything. We've just executed them better. There's been a more of an intent, a pursuit to execute our coverages to be more physical, like match the physicality of play, limited offensive rebounding for the opposing team. So it's just a matter of staying to what we already do and just doing it at a complete better level. So we haven't really made too much, too many changes. 